What is going on guys, it is Bucky and this is your 31st Java game development tutorial and in the last tutorial we implemented the key listener interface and this is how we handle key events on your keyboard but now we want to get into something a little more exciting and that's mouse input. So there are three different interfaces we need to implement and that's mouse motion listener, mouse listener, and mouse wheel listener. And these three interfaces you can pretty much accept all input from the user. So let's go ahead and do that right now. The first uh, interface we want to implement is mouse motion listener, just like that. And your mouse motion listener is for when the user either drags the mouse or moves the mouse. Um, you can take the events and respond to that. And aside from this, we want to do mouse listener. And what this is is the button clicks, uh, mouse press when they release. And the last one we want to work with is that little wheel in the middle of your mouse you can also handle events from that so let's go to mouse wheel listener and this one has built-in methods that respond to mouse wheel events so I already built my main method and it only has one call to the run so let's go ahead and start making some variables let's go ahead and make a private and all this program is going to do is whenever you click it's going to say you clicked so we're going to need an empty string and put mess for message or whatever you want to call it I'm just going to set mine equal to empty string right now and now we need our initialization method so let's go ahead and make init and it's going to call the super init so let's go ahead and we'll make it public void init and let's go ahead and the first thing that we're going to want to do in this is called the super uh, classes initialization method so super dot init and this will call a super classes initialization and now we need a window object to get the entire screen so window I'll name my W because I'm lazy set it equal to s dot bam look at that it's already there for us get full screen window now aside from the key listener we added in the last tutorial we also need to add those three other listeners so W dot add and hopefully they pop up mouse listener just like that and as our argument take this which is a window w dot add mouse motion listener too easy and I'll take this as a parameter again and w dot add mouse wheel listener and all of these take this and aside from this we want to add that key listener again so w dot add key listener and the reason we're adding the key listener oh, even though we're going over uh, mouse listeners in this tutorial is because whenever we press escape we want to be able to exit our program and if we don't have this key listener um, we're going to not be able to respond to any input on the keyboard so that's why we're doing that if you were wondering next let's go ahead and get our draw method out of the way and public I spelled that wrong didn't I Synchronize. Make sure you spell it right. Void draw, and of course it takes it takes your graphic variable right there. And now let's go ahead and get our window object again. Get full screen. That's what we're drawing on. Set the color of the drawing object, and we will set it equal to. Uh, let's go ahead and set it equal to the background for now. So W get background. Too easy. So I think our background was uh, green, I'm not sure, but so right now our drawing object is green or whatever color. And now we want to draw a rectangle as big as a screen. So G dot fill rectangle, if I can find it. Uh oh. Come on, Haas. Fill rect. And of course it's gonna be at zero zero, top left corner. And the width is gonna be S dot get width. And the height is going to be screen dot get height, and this will make it automatically the same size as your screen using the width and the height from our screen class. So uh, a couple more things we need to do is go ahead and change the color. So g dot set color, and we will set this to w dot get foreground this time. So now we are drawing with white, and now let's just draw the string g dot draw string and of course we want to use that message variable which remember we set it equal to blank string right now but we're going to be populating this later on and we'll just put it at 40 
50. That should appear somewhere in the middle of our screen. So now, make sure you don't have any errors and you're ready to move on to the meat of this tutorial. And that is implementing your mouse pressed, mouse release, mouse clicked, entered, and exit methods. And these are all methods in the mouse listener interface. So don't forget your mouse listener interface, which is pretty much the buttons on your mouse, has five methods that you need to implement. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add one comment for all of them, and it's going to be mouse listener interface. And let's go through these real quick, and all we're going to do whenever we handle the event is just change the string. So public void mouse pressed is the first one, and it's going to take a mouse event, and we'll just name it E. And all we want to do is change the message equal to something like you pressed down the mouse and make sure you spell mouse like that or else the program won't work and now what we need to do is implement mouse released so of course this um, method calls whenever you release the button on the mouse and if you couldn't guess whenever you click the button down it's gonna say you press down the button or the mouse as long as you have the button held down but whenever you release the mouse this method is gonna be called public void mouse released and of course this takes your same mouse event so let's copy that and paste it and just change the message to you release the mouse good enough now there are three other methods in here and that's mouse clicked which is pretty much when you click your mouse and that's a combination of pressing your re and releasing but we don't want to handle this because it will mess up our other two so let's go ahead and just we need to implement it public void mouse clicked and of course let's just put our parameter in here and for the code just run nothing just like that and the other thing there are two other methods mouse entered and mouse exited now usually you use these whenever they enter and exit the window but since our window is taking up the entire screen these aren't really going to be useful so what we need to do is do what we did before and just call a method with no body so public void mouse entered and we usually would handle this but the only thing is we're working with full screen so it'll be useless for now public void mouse exited just like that and let me fix that and we should be good to go and of course don't handle this one either because I mean why would we so let's copy that paste and paste and those are all your methods you need to implement for mouse listener again mouse pressed is when you press the button mouse release is when you release the button clicked is a clicking motion which we don't want to mess with it right now entered and exit are useless when you're working with full screen so that's all the time I have for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. In the next tutorial, we're going to be going over mouse motion, which is dragging the mouse and also moving the mouse without the button held down, and also that mouse wheel in the middle. So I want to thank you guys one more time for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next tutorial.